Streaks of black cover the now charred Bakken Oil Pipeline construction equipment parked near the town of Reisner. Three bulldozers and one excavator were damaged in the fire Saturday night. And there's four machinery on fire right now. Today, KCCI has learned it caused $2 million in damage. I know $2 million sounds like a lot of destruction, but the amount of damage that Dakota Access is doing to our land all across the state uh, is much more than that. The Reasoner Assistant Fire Chief suspects pipeline protesters are to blame. Plus, they're not getting back at the pipeline, they're just hurting the guy that's trying to make a living putting it in. Adam Mason with Iowa Citizens for Community Improvement says people quick to point a finger at protesters need to understand a lot of Iowans oppose the pipeline. So that, that definitely is frustrating when, when one event like this paints the larger uh, pipeline resistance movement as being violent. It's not the first time protesters have been blamed, Mason says. Questions were also raised about protesters' involvement in an August fire, causing $1 million in damage. It gives our opposition the chance to paint everybody who's opposed to the pipeline as an extremist. Uh, that could be f couldn't be further from the truth. Jasper County investigators can't say for sure whether the two incidents are connected, but point to a lot of similarities, location, and the type of equipment damaged.